Hello and welcome. Now in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use Microsoft Teams in order to manage a personal project. And we're going to use the tools in Microsoft Teams, which are the platform tools in Microsoft Office that are self-contained within Teams. We're also going to use the free version of Teams in order to do it. Basically what we do to get started is we create a separate team for a specific project. And so once we are logged into Microsoft Teams, we'd start the process by clicking join or create team. And we're going to create a team and basically that team is going to be specific to the project that we're creating. So let's click create team. We're then going to build a team from scratch. And again, this is just going to be us working within the team. And what we're going to do is we want to make sure that the individuals that are part of our organization don't necessarily see this project. So it's going to be private. And that means then we can still have people to become part of the team, but they're going to need our permission to join. And we're going to use that in managing our project. So we're going to click create a private team. And we're going to call the team name something that would be memorable to us. In this case, it's going to be the name of our project. Now, this is just the sample subject. You can name your team and you can manage whatever project that you want. We're just doing this for the sake of the video. What we're going to do is click create. That's going to give us a separate team. Now, because we're going to start the process by creating a project, and it's going to be a solo project, we're going to skip the process of adding members to the team. Now what we have here are we have a general level of our project. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we keep each area of our process or each area of this project separate. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create separate channels for each stage of the project. So in this case, we're going to create more channels so we can keep them separate. We're going to click create more channels here and we're going to give this separate channel a name. So basically now we have a general level of the project. We have a second channel, which is the second level of the project. And just so that we can understand exactly what's going to be happening, we want to go back to this general level and we're going to create another channel. That's going to be another level of the project. So again, we're going to give this second level of the project a channel name, and we're going to give it a channel description. Now, in this case, we're going to make sure that this channel automatically shows in everyone's channel list. We're going to click add. And we're going to go back to the video creation and we're going to create one more channel. Now for this channel, what we're going to do is we're going to make it private. And we're then going to click next. And we're going to start the process by not adding members to the video channel. In fact, what we're going to do with all three of the upper levels of the project is we're going to make them all private. And to do that, we're going to go to these three dots. We're then going to go to manage our channel or actually what we're going to do is we're going to edit the channel. We're going to not automatically show this in everyone's channel list. We're going to save those changes. And what you're going to notice is as the recording of this video, you are not able to take a standard channel and turn it to private. So if you decide that you want to make a private channel of a channel that you've already created, we're going to have to do is we're going to go back and we're going to delete those channels and we're going to recreate them as all private channels. Now it's important to note that once you change these channels to private, they will not be available for you to change them back to public. When you create a channel and you start using it, that's what the channel is going to be. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to delete these two channels and we're going to recreate them as private channels. So we've deleted the channels. We're going to come back. We're going to create another channel. And so we're going to click next. Now, one of the things you're going to note is that once you actually use a channel name inside of a team, you won't be able to use that channel name, even if you delete that channel 
from your team. I'm going to go ahead and click next for this channel. And we're going to skip the addition of individuals. We're going to now go back and we're going to add the other channel back in. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this private and click next. And then we're going to skip the addition of individuals to the channel. So our channel with general information is going to be public. The other three channels are going to be private. Now in the general area, what you want to do is you want to start the process by adding in all of the documents to the general area that you're going to be using. And you can do that through the conversation area or you can just go to the files area. We're just going to go to the files area. What you're going to notice is that there's not going to be any files here. We're going to upload the files that we're going to be using. Now, for the sake of this project, we're going to use Microsoft Office platform documents to upload to this area because those will give us access to the tools inside of Teams. So you're going to do that in your general area or whatever channel you're going to be using to start your project management. Now, when you click the upload button, you're going to notice that what you can do is you can upload an entire folder. So let's assume that what you have is you have all of the documents in one folder that you're going to be using. And so if you click folder, what's going to happen is Microsoft Teams will then go looking on your hard drive for a folder. Now, when Microsoft Teams goes to your hard drive looking for a folder, it's going to go to a default setting. And you're typically going to have that to be in your documents folder. If you're working with Windows, there will be a OneNote notebook or some kind of OneNote designation within your general documents folder. And since you're going to be grabbing all of the content inside of one folder, you want to have it so that a considerable number of your project files are already there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that this folder is going to be ready. In fact, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new folder. And we're going to do that here even through the upload process. So now that we have that folder, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we drag all of the files we're going to be using into the folder we're going to be uploading. So in this case, we already have some files available. We want to drag and drop those files into the folder that we're going to be uploading into Microsoft Teams. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drag those documents into the folder that we're going to be working with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this folder and we're then going to click upload the entire folder to Microsoft Teams. Teams will then ask you if this is what you want to do. You'll say yes to upload the entire folder to Microsoft Teams. And we're doing this inside of the general area. Teams will give you an update here in the margin to tell you what's happening with your files. Now you are then going to have an entire folder in this general area of your project. And if we click inside of that folder, we're then going to have all of the files that we have and we're going to be working with inside of Teams. So basically, we can work within our project manager in order to keep all of the files with a particular aspect of our project in one area, and we can either further categorize those files by adding in specific folders. Now, if we didn't do this when we started, we can still add folders even after we started the process. And to do that, we'd go to this drop down arrow, and then we can then create another folder in order to upload to. And then we can click Create we will have our additional folder. If we wanted to go and change the name of the folder, we could do that. And all we'll need to do is to right click that folder, click rename, and we can then name the folder what we want it to be. We're going to click save. We can then click on the folder that we created. Now in this case, you're going to see that there are no files associated with this particular folder. What we can do is we can then drag and drop files into this folder as we need them. And we can then drag and drop those elements into our new Teams folder. And then those files will be available to us inside of the folder as we designate it. Now, one of the reasons why we want to set up different channels and we want to set them up as private 
because we may need to have collaboration in each one of these channels. And we want the individuals that are going to be collaborating with us to only be concerned with their activity inside of that channel. That's one of the reasons why we want to make these channels private. What we're now going to do is we're going to organize according to the scope that we have in the folder that's non-private. And you can organize this in however you want. The process that you want to understand is the ability to set up folders and borrow from those folders within each of your projects. So for example, let's assume that what we want to do is we want to go inside of one of our private folders and we want to set up according to the system that we already have started. And so in this case, we're going to start with some folders. And we're going to do that in the files area. We want to set up our files according to the same system that we've already started. So we're going to start two new folders. And we're going to start those folders according to the system that we've already created. And what we now want to do is we want to create that same system in all of our private folders. So we're going to go to the next private folder and we're going to create the same system. And we're going to go to the files area in order to do that. And we're going to do the same thing in our third private folder. And again, we're going to use the files area in order to do that. And so we're going to use this drop down arrow to create the folders that we want. So where we are now is we have a specific project. We have general files now in one area of the project. And that area of the project is going to be where we're going to have people that we may be working with that can access everything. We're also going to have parts of the project where only the individuals that are going to be working on that part of the project to have access to. So we're going to start with this part of the project and what we're going to do is we're going to bring some of the files from the general channel into that folder. And so what we want to do first is we want to go here to the attach and we're going to start looking for files in this browse teams and channels link. And so we open it up we're going to see those two folders, but those are the folders that are within our channel. We want to go to a more general channel first, and we want to get files from that channel. We want to bring them into our window. So in this case, we're going to look for this first designation. And for this channel, we want to add in one specific document. And what we want to do here is we want to click upload a copy. And what's going to happen now is that document is now going to be added then to this particular channel from the general channel. And so to see it, we need to go now to the files area. Now, once that's in position, what we're going to do is we're going to click the send button. That's then going to make that file then available. What we're now going to do is we're going to go to our files area inside of this channel and we're going to see that file now in this area. What we now want to do is we want to associate this file with a specific aspect of the project. So what we want to do here is we want to then highlight this document and we basically want to move it. And naturally we're going to move it into the folder where we want it. In this case we're going to move it into this folder and we're going to click move. So now if we go into that folder, we're going to see the file that we want organized into this folder. And so we're going to want to do at every stage where we have some project activity is we want to take the files from the general area and move them into the channel where that activity is going to take place. So for example, what we're going to do here is we're going to go and we're going to grab a different kind of file and we're going to pull it into this channel and we're going to use the same feature that we did in the other channel. We're going to browse teams and channels. 
We're then going to go to the general area or the general channel. We're then going to look for the document. And we're going to grab that document. We're going to click upload a copy. Once it's been uploaded, what we're going to do is we're going to click send. That document is then going to be in our posting area. It's also then going to be in our files area. So when we check the files, we should see the document there. We're then going to move that document inside of the folder to make sure that we've organized it the way we want. All we'll need to do is to right click here. We'll then click move and we'll then move the document from where it is to where we want it to be. And you'll see then that our document has been moved. We're going to now go to the third level and we're pretty much going to go through the same process. What we're going to start with is going to the attach area. We're then going to browse our teams and channels. What we're then going to do is we're going to go back to the top. We're going to go to the general folder. We're then going to go inside of this area. And we're then going to grab the other document. We're then going to click upload a copy. Once that document is in place, we're going to click send. The document is then going to be in the posting area. We're then going to also make sure that it's going to be in the files area, which it should be. We click on the files. We'll see the document will then be available. We can then move the document into the folder where we want it to be organized. We're going to right click again. When we right click again, this time we're going to click move. We're going to point to the folder. We're then going to click move. So now that we have three separate channels, which represent three parts of our project, we want to have the individuals that are going to be assisting us with each level to be invited then to the specific channel. So for example, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to this level or this channel. And what we want to do is we want to invite individuals to this channel. So we're going to do in order to add someone to this channel or this level is we're going to click inside of the channel. Once we do that, we're going to go to this section where we add a member. We're going to click on add members. That's going to open up this dialog. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in the individual that we want to add. What we're going to do then is we're going to click on that individual. And we're then going to click add. We're then going to click close. That individual will then see an invitation in their inbox. They're then going to click join. What they can then do is use the web app. And they will then have that aspect of your organization as part of their team's canvas. Now, when you add this individual, what you're going to notice if you click through the various elements of your team, you're going to notice then that this individual is part of the general channel. But if we go to the specific channel where we really do want the individual, that individual is not yet part of that channel, nor are they part of the other channels that are private. And you're going to see that as you click through these various channels. Now you've decided that you want this individual to be part of one specific channel where they are going to be working on a specific aspect of your project. And so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add members of this channel to this part of the project or this specific channel. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to click add members. And we're then going to start typing that individual's name. And we'll see that individual. We will add that individual to that specific channel or specific part of the project. We'll then close this part of the project. Now you'll see that this individual is part of the project. However, if you go to the other projects that are private, you will not see this individual as part of the team. 
So basically what we have done is we have created a project, we have created different parts of that project, and we've created levels at which different individuals can collaborate with us as part of that project. We have specific files and specific folders for the individuals in specific projects to work on. And so this is how you can create a project within Microsoft Teams and allow specific individuals to collaborate with you in specific ways. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next process.